With a variety of sizes and a consistently high level of quality throughout the lineup, Mazda's been named the best SUV brand by U.S. News and World Report. We invite you to experience the Mazda difference at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline, a member of the Team Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for 9 News Now. I'm Tisha Powell. We start off with a Denham Springs police officer who was struck by a vehicle on I-12 in Walker today. According to the police, the officer was following a suspect on foot when they ran into traffic. The suspect avoided oncoming vehicles, but the officer was hit. We've been, he's been taken to Our Lady of the Lake in Baton Rouge. We do not have a status on his condition. Denham Springs police will provide an update for us in our upcoming newscast. A lieutenant with the Louisiana State Police was arrested last night for driving under the influence. He is 51-year-old Prentice Trey Bellew. The BRPD responded to a single vehicle crash on I-10 near Perkins Road. Officers said Bellew submitted to a breath test. His blood alcohol level was .135 above the legal limit. He was off duty at the time. Sources say he was coming from an event related to the Louisiana State Troopers Association Convention. He was not taken to parish prison because it was his first offense, but he has been placed on administrative leave. State Superintendent Dr. Kate Brumley sent a letter to the president and vice president of the EBR school board urging them to resolve a superintendent debacle. He says his allegiance is with the students who deserve a better collective leadership than they are getting right now. The start of the school year is just three weeks away. Per Louisiana state law, a superintendent must be chosen by July 24th. You can see the full letter on WAFB.com or on our 9 News app. Just ahead, we have a check of your evening forecast and your drive home. Stay with us. Let's take a look outside where things are dry. There were a few sprinkles earlier today, but don't put the umbrella away just yet. Let's get to Jared Silverman with a look at the forecast and your drive. Jared. That's good advice, Tisha. Yeah, the rain chances are all up and down that seven to 10 day forecast. So you're going to want to keep the umbrella handy. Matter of fact, we've had a break over the past couple of hours, but now on radar, we're starting to see things get busy again. 86 degrees. That's definitely the silver lining that we've had with all the rain failing to make it out of the 80s today for highs. I'm sure you're not complaining about that. As I mentioned before, we had a break for a couple of hours. Now at the very end of this loop, you could see a couple of showers and non severe thunderstorms. They look like they're just going to graze Baton Rouge. Most of them staying to the north in between places like Slaughter up to Zachary. A uh, very quick couple of showers. There we are zoomed in. Zachary actually getting some of the rain now, but heavier stuff is about to move in within the next 10 to 15 minutes. And it looks like it's going to clip the north side of downtown and up to BTR Airport. And it should just be a couple of quick showers. Meanwhile, the the forecast for this evening, we're going to taper things down slowly but surely. Start you at about a 50-50 chance at about 7 p.m., take you down to 10% before midnight. Then after midnight, it goes down to zero. And in the weekend forecast, it's a better chance of rain on Sunday. Now, I want to tell you, Saturday at 60%, Saturday is not a washout. So if you're kind of wavering between which day is the better of the two, <clears throat> I would say Saturday is looking like that. OK, now let's take you over to traffic. We were talking about all that mess that happened over at I-12 by Walker. And if we look at our camera right now out there, our traffic cam does show that we have that. This is over a Gordon McKernan camera looking across I-10 in between K Acadian Thruway and College. We've got the normal stop and go activity right now on I-10 inbound or eastbound, backed up beyond Lobdell, back behind 415 or farther to the west. So that's going to take a few minutes. There you see that's the clear up now on I-12 backtracking westbound towards Baton Rouge. You see the cone is still up, but again, the purple has gone away, so it's starting to open up and looking a little bit better around I-10, the Bonacare Spillway, back on over to downtown New Orleans. Tisha? Jared, thank you. Well, in about an hour, qualifying for all November 5th elections will end. As it stands right now, there are five candidates running for mayor president, incumbent Sharon Weston Broom and Ted James on the Democratic side. On the Republican ticket will be Sid Edwards, Tammy Cook, and Nathaniel Hearn. 
Well, thank you for joining us for Nine News Now and be sure to tune back in in 25 minutes for Nine News at Four. If you're looking for the perfect companion for family fun and adventure or wanting to find adventure beyond the ordinary, experience all that the Toyota Tundra has to offer. Save on your new Tundra right now at Team Toyota, I-12 and O'Neill.